let's walk you through the process of registering for classes and managing your schedule. To begin, click on Register for Classes. To enter the Register for Classes menu, you will need to select an academic term to view. The registration menu has three sections. The top window, Find Classes, allows you to search for classes and add them to your registration summary. The bottom right window is your registration summary. This window displays classes that you have selected but have not yet completed registration for, as well as the classes that you were fully registered in. The bottom left window, Schedule, displays your courses visually in a calendar format. Some of these windows have tabs that provide additional functionality, like Enter CRNs and Schedule and Options under the top window, and Schedule Details under the bottom left window. Let's start by using the top window to find a class using the basic search feature. If you know the specific subject or course that you're looking for, this is where you'll begin your search. For more detailed searches, you can use the advanced search feature. This will allow you to look up classes by credit hours, course levels, and more. Once you have found a course that you want to register for, click Add to include it in your registration summary. The course will now show as pending, indicating that you have added the course to your schedule, but registration in the course is not yet complete. Under the Action column, the course will display Registered Web. You will need to click Submit to confirm the changes and officially register for the course. The system will process your request and notify you of any errors. After this, you will see the courses that you have added in your summary and in your class schedule view. Once they have been registered, they will appear with the tag Registered. Courses can also be added directly by their course reference number, CRN. In this example, we are going to add CRN 10109. Select Add to Summary and you will see the course added into your summary with the status of Pending. Under the Action column, you will see it say Registered Web. To complete the process, select Submit. The system will process your request and notify you of any errors. Another scenario that you may encounter is that you realize you need to remove a course from your schedule. You will need to go to the Registration Summary view, find the Action column, and select Drop Web. You will need to click on Submit. Once submitted, the system will let you know that the course has been deleted. You have the option to undo your changes. To make sure that you remove the course from your schedule, you will need to select Submit a second time. Once you are happy with your schedule, you will see all of your registered courses and a detailed view of your class times. At the top right of the registration pane, click the Tuition and Fees link to view a summary of your assessed fees. This shows tuition for registered courses, but excludes payments and will not display if the fees have not yet been assessed for the term. For example, in June and July, fees for fall and winter courses are not immediately available. And that's it! The next step is to review your registration information.